Hello! Welcome back to another LEGO review video. My name is Last Night I Dreamt, and today I'm going to be building the LEGO Atari. Mm -mm, I'm excited. This set is for ages 18 and up. The set number is 10306, and it comes with 2,532 pieces. Let's open this bad boy up. My god, this thing is huge. It even had three pieces of tape. I've never seen three pieces of tape on a box before. It's always usually two or they have push tabs. I've never seen three pieces of tape. I'm not complaining though. It's secure and I love tape. Good job. Lego, you're looking like you did well so far, even though I'm just opening the box. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there are so many bags. This is huge. Okay, so let me sort this. <clears throat> We're making our packaging more sustainable. We're transitioning from single-use plastic to paper-based packaging. As we progress, you may find a mix of paper and plastic in our boxes. I have yet to see a single paper bag for any of these. I wish I did, because this plastic is very wasteful. <sighs> the plastic bags that just gets chucked in my garbage can. I would actually really like to see the paper. Um, so I'm excited about what they're doing here, that they're moving away from non-reusable plastic. Um, I heard somewhere that the, the goal is to have every single Lego box that is, like, newly manufactured replaced with paper bags after, like, 2023 or something like that, which is great. I'm all for that, and I love that Lego is doing that. So first up, we have our instructions, which comes in a nice packaging, so it's all sealed up. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of stickers in here. So... Ugh, I don't like stickers a whole lot, but I mean... I guess we'll see. It also comes uh, with this bag of extra pieces, which there is a lot of these base plates. And it looks like a wire in there for like uh, connecting the console to the controller. Uh, so that's pretty neat. I've never actually seen one of these before. There is a total of 16 bags. Um, quite a few of them have uh, multiple bags for each number. Um, so there's a lot of bags <laughs> there is a lot a lot of bags uh and a lot of them are very very full none of them are like really small bags they're all huge they're all packed to the brim i don't it's a lot of legos which i'm excited to put together to make the atari so let's begin All right, and that was the first bag. We have this little castle thing here. Uh, looks pretty cool, actually. I like these hedges along the sides and this like mini dragon. It looks really neat. I'm in addition to that, we also have the cartridge for the game, which it looks so neat. I really love this uh, dragon on the front. Um, and there's a uh, adventure right here. And there's like a nice green in here where it's going to slot into the Atari. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, I hated putting these stickers on, but I think the prints look really good. Alright, and bag two was this shelf uh, for your cartridges, which slot in there actually pretty nicely. Uh, I really like the look of this thing. Uh, there's some detailing on the side, and it's actually a lot more sturdy than you would imagine. I really like the building technique for these shelves to get the spacing exactly right. Um, that's really cool. Although the back is just this plain underside of the plates, but that's understandable, just the way that it's built. So just don't show that off and you're fine. Okay, and that was bag three. We got the base all built up. Uh, you can see here on the sides, uh, there's these slanted smooth bricks. 
uh, and they line up really well. So that's really well designed. I love the building technique that they use there. Okay, now it's bag four, and already you can see the uh, sides taking shape. Uh, I really, really like the building technique to have these slants right here. Just the angle of it looks really cool. I'm excited to see uh, what exactly goes there, but so far it's looking really cool. It's already pretty deep. Okay, and that was bag six. We added this back right here. Uh, I really actually, I kind of like the way that they make it angled. It looks kind of interesting. Uh, as you can see here, there are three holes, one, two, three. They have little hammers in these holes. Uh, not exactly sure what those are gonna be used for, but I still think they look pretty cool. Okay, and that was bag eight. We are now halfway done, and we built this cartridge, as well as this tribute to the game. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I love the use of this uh, translucent piece with these studs making it look like it's shooting. That's really cool. And you may have noticed, uh, you may have noticed that I have this uh, big set here. It's because the art for this uh, cartridge was inspired by the underside of this. So you can kind of tell that the cartridge art was based off of this set, based on the underside and the engines. So I think that's really neat that they replaced the art of the cartridge with Lego elements. Okay, and in bag nine, we added this little contraption here. Um, this is probably, if I had to guess, going to move the room up and down on the Atari. Um, so I, I, I do kind of like the whole cranking up and down thing. I always love seeing technical bits inside of things to make it, make it functional and have a playability feature. So this is really cool and I'm excited to see how it works. Okay, and in bag 10, we added this bedroom here. I really, really, really like this and all of the details that it adds. There's a phone on the wall. There's a cat here. I love these posters on the wall. That looks so sick. Uh, there's even a cassette here on the uh, shelf. I really love the printed brick here with the cassette. That looks really good, and that's a good, that's a nice detail. I love the fact that they went for carpet and the uh, wooden panel siding for the walls. That is so <laughs> realistic. I love that. Um, and the minifigure is pretty cool too. Uh, even on the TV, there's even um, him playing Asteroids as well as the Atari on the floor. Uh, the controller looks pretty good. I feel like they maybe could have done something different, but it is what it is. And this is it. Whenever it flips up, it goes back down, flips up. So that's pretty neat. <laughs> Okay, and that was bag 11. We basically just worked on this bit right here that's gonna cover it up. Um, this was kind of a pain in the butt to do, uh, but I think it looks good whenever it's done. Okay, we finished up bag 12 and we got the front here, with the wooden panel. I love this piece right here. I love that they used printed pieces and the way that they got it to sit there, oof. That was such a cool thing. Uh, and then we fleshed this out some more. So, oh man, this looks so cool. I'm excited to get this onto the set. All right, and that was bag 13. And uh, we actually slotted this thing in here. And it's really cool. You just pull this back and then that pops out. And then you just slide it back in and it goes right back in. That's really cool.
All right, and that was bag 14, and we have the on-off switch, the color and black and white TV color, the uh, game select and the game reset. I love the fact that these like pop back up because of the uh, rubber bands we put on there, and I just love the look of this whole set. It looks so cool. I really like it, and like holding it now, it feels so solid. I love this. Okay, and that was bag 15, and we've got our controller here with the, the wire and the plug, uh, which I really like. Um, one thing I don't really like is the way that they connect the wire to the plug and to the controller. The pieces don't really fit into the wire super well. I mean, it's really, really tight. It was really hard to get, uh, to get the piece in there. Uh, I don't know if you could see in the time lapse, but I was struggling quite a bit to get that in there, so. Maybe making the uh, wire tubing to be a little bit wider just so that it'd be a little easier to get on there. But again, maybe it would fall off too easily, so. But otherwise, I think that looks really good. Okay, and that was bag 16, our final bag. We got our cartridge here for Centipede with Lego minifigures and centipedes and bees and stuff on it, as well as our tribute to it, which looks pretty cool. I like the fact that they have these as eyes, but also as antennas. I think that looks pretty cool. So final thoughts. I love this set so much. Just, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but Lego fans, please back me up. Some sets, some sets have a, a like a good feel to them. You know what I mean? Like they feel like, like heavy like something I don't know exactly how to express it but like it has a feel to it and this one definitely has like a good feel to it like okay just the controller oh it feels it just feels good in your hand and like the shelf it's like so compact but it like it has a weight to it it feels good and these cartridges I love just like the Sticking it in there. Oof. And you can sit there and play the game and it's just, oof. So I love this little shelf. Um, I love the fact that you can see the titles of the games and I love all of the different cartridges. I love the art for these. I mean, just look at these arts. Oh, they look so good, especially for asteroids. I love this one so much and I love the fact that they use Lego elements on all of the arts and stickers for these cartridges. Um, and this one especially, they used the Space Explorer set, which I have and I recognize and I love that they did that. That's so cool. And the set itself is really, really neat. Uh, and it even slides out and pulls up this little diorama of a kid playing on the TV, playing asteroids in this really detailed room. And they even has like a cat, a phone on the wall. It even has a cassette that just sits here on the shelf. That is, that is attention to detail. And I love that. I also really, really love the printed pieces here for the Atari and the symbol on it. Oof, that looks fantastic. The controller, I love this controller so much. It feels so good to just sit in your hand and I love the wire and it like plugs in here and you can unplug it and replug it in. Ooh, it just, it has a good snap to it. And I love this wire. It was kind of a pain in the butt to attach it to this and to the, to the, to the plug. But what are you gonna do? And these little dioramas, these are so cute. And they were actually like really, really fun to build. I love these dioramas so much. I love this castle and I love these little planets and I loved actually like building the spaceship. It actually kind of feels like you're playing the game, if that makes sense. It's, it's so cool. I love that so much. And I love the centipede. I love these little mushrooms. They're adorable. And look at that centipede. He looks so mad, but also like cute. He's so cute. I love him. I love these dioramas. There's not a single thing about this ad that I don't like, other than the fact that I wish that they had had a TV to go with it, like they did for the NES. 
but that would be really, really expensive for a set this size. Like, this is way bigger than the NES is. So, like, adding a TV to that would make it really expensive. And they also had a TV for the NES, so it's like, eh, you don't really need one for both. Okay, so for price, this set was $240, which I honestly, I give it a 10 out of 10. That's not a, that's not a bad price. For all the stuff that you get, the attention to detail, this is a very well designed set. So this, this gets a 10 out of 10. It's a great set. The price is well worth it for the amount of bricks that you get. The typewriter was $250 and it had less pieces than this set. And this set is $10 cheaper. It was well worth it. I also got it for $45 off because there was a promotion for the VIP people on VIP weekend. So I got it for 195 bucks, which was a great deal. This was a great set and a great price. So the minifigure, I give it a seven out of 10. It's not really anything crazy. Um, the minifigure, it's just like a plain kid. Like you could really just throw any kid in there and it would be fine. But he does have, he does have a printed Atari shirt, which I like. So for the set itself, obviously, I really like it. I give this one a 10 out of 10, honestly. There's nothing I don't like about this set and the amount of detail for this and just this everything everything i'm telling you it's so good i love the fact that they included these these are awesome i love this shelf with the cartridges i love the nes i love the controller and the wire it's so cool i love this so much this is a clear 10 out of 10 when it comes to set it was a great price it was super fun to build and it looks just fantastic. So overall, this is a 10 out of 10. This is an easy buy for me. This is a great purchase. If you were on the fence about this, please, please get it. It's, mm, it is a banger. If you like Atari and you are a fan of Legos, this is the set for you. This is a great set. I love everything about this and I haven't even played on the Atari, which is really unfortunate. I kind of wish I did but I never really had that opportunity. I barely played any video games as a kid because parents, but that's aside the point. That is it for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.